What's good, Snap Nation? Today we're gonna to run you through a core circuit training. You wanna do 20 reps on each movement, go through all of the series, that's one set, then restart at the top and go through again one more set of 20 reps. What we're gonna be focusing on is keeping that core nice and tight, hitting those vertical layers, those side layers, and that lower abdominal layer. Let's go. All right guys, this first movement is gonna be a rope cable crunch. You wanna set your cable all the way up to the top. Bring the ropes over your shoulders. Get into a power stance, a squat stance. And you're gonna do trunk flexion, which is just a flexion down, control it back up. All right guys, this next movement is for your obliques, which run like a V in your stomach and a teepee. This is a rope crunch with an oblique twist. So you're gonna wanna set up on your knees, Bring your arm nice and straight with that cable. Hang on to your elbow with your opposite arm. And then you're gonna just rotate down to the opposite side. So rotate down, breathe out. All right guys, this next movement, you are gonna be using the decline bench on this series. Uh, there's gonna be three movements in this series. This first one is gonna work that rectus abdominis again, that vertical layer. So what you're gonna need is a plate and then have a seat on the decline bench, locking your legs in the pads. Keep your arms nice and straight, back nice and straight so your core is engaged. Come down to 45 degrees, you're gonna feel your core tighten up. Come up and extend overhead, breathe out. Down, up. All right guys, this next movement is a plank crawl. There's gonna be three different levels on the decline bench. You're gonna hold it for 15 seconds at the bottom. Crawl back with your arms and your toes to the mid for 15. Same thing to the top point for 15 seconds. That's your set. Okay, so it look like this. Keep your hips squared up. Your elbows are underneath your armpits. Back's nice and flat. So you're not building a pyramid because we're not in Egypt and you're not dropping your hips. That's gonna hurt your back. Okay, nice and flat. After 15 seconds, you'd crawl back to the mid, keeping the elbows underneath the armpits. And then same thing to the top. All right guys, the next series of exercises are done on the assisted pull-up rack. You could also use what's called the power tower. It's basically like a seat with arm pads that you hold on to. Um, same type of thing. First movement we're gonna do is it's gonna hit your lower abs. You're gonna drive your knees up past your hips and then right back down. If you don't drive up past the hips, you're gonna feel just hip flexors. Okay, so you're gonna feel this in that lower ab. The next movement is gonna be an oblique twist with that same type of movement. So you're gonna do one leg up to the side, rotation. So now you're gonna feel this in the sides of the abs. All right guys, this next movement is a plank series. You wanna do each movement for 30 seconds. If you want a challenge, go for a minute. The first one's gonna be a normal plank. So elbows underneath your armpits, back nice and flat, hips squared up. Holding that, so after 30 seconds or a minute, you're gonna go right into a side plank, which is gonna isolate more of that oblique area. Stack your feet up, elbow underneath the armpit, and then hips up. Hold that. Obviously, you do the other side too. And then the jumping jack plank, you're basically in a plank position, doing a jumping jack with your feet, so in and out. This is gonna work the abs, shoulders, and the hips. Okay, after that, the last one is kickbacks, isolating your glutes, your hips, and your core. So straight leg up, squeeze the butt, control it back down. 